Hi, in this video we're going to show you how to install Microsoft Works onto your computer. So if you remember Microsoft Works back in the old days uh, before Office, you know it had a word processor, spreadsheet, and that type of thing. So if you want to be nostalgic and you like to uh, use this old program still, or maybe you have some Microsoft Works files you need to open and you can't open them in something else, you could try this out. Okay, so once you download the ISO file, which we have here, it's just a single file, to install it, you're going to need to mount it. You, know, you could burn it to a CD, of course, and do that, but it's easier just to mount it. So what you want to do is right-click on it and choose Mount. And if you don't have the Mount option, you need to go to Properties, and then Opens With, and then change this to Windows Explorer from whatever it happens to be. And then you'll be able to mount it by right-clicking on it. Okay, so it'll mount it as a drive letter here, the DVD drive. And then all you need to do is run the setup exe, which I already have installed, so it's going to give you some warning about another user logged into this computer, even though there's not, so you could ignore this. And so Obviously, since I have it installed, I can't reinstall it, but it's pretty much just the process of following the prompts. And then when you're done, you will have the Microsoft Works apps here. So if we go to All Apps, it'll even install the Microsoft Office PowerPoint Viewer, which just lets you view PowerPoint files, not open them. So here's Microsoft Works. So we have the calendar, database, portfolio, spreadsheet, and word processor. So let's try out the word processor. And then there's a task launcher too. And if you go to programs, you could open one of them from here as well. And you can see we have some templates too. You know, pretty basic. And of course you could do a new document and then you could also open existing documents. So let's try that. So when you open, let's say a Word document, you're going to have to change the file type here from WPS to DOCX. Unless it's a really old Word document, DOC. Now one thing you'll notice here. If I open this brochure, you can see it doesn't do a good job of that because that was a template file. And let me show you what that looks like in Word. Like so. But I have another file here we could open. Which has some pictures in it and a table of contents actually. So you can see it did a pretty good job of opening this with the images and so on, page numbers and stuff. And of course you could change it and do all your editing up here as well. And then the same for spreadsheets. Blank spreadsheet, open an existing one. Except for spreadsheets, you can't open newer ones. Your only options are for Excel 97 to 2007. And your database files and your calendar, dictionary, PowerPoint viewer, and so on. All right, so I will put a link in the description where you could download the Microsoft Works ISO installation file. Then you could install it and try it out for yourself. All right, thanks for watching and be sure to subscribe.